Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Empire at War as Zinge. So, we are currently doing pretty well. We've actually taken a couple of worlds from the other powers out there. We've forced back the New Republic, forced back the Imperial Remnant, and I'm about to continue those attacks. Now, Mon Calamari over here is looking like a good target, and we've got quite a large fleet here. We've got a lot of ships, including our brand new Allegiance class battlecruiser. This is a big ship with a lot of guns. Doesn't carry any fighters though, so we've got to be aware of that. Uh, over here we've actually got our faction leader, Zinj, and his fleet. Not the most massive fleet, but of course it does contain a Super Star Destroyer. Uh, our ground forces are building up in several locations. We've got quite a large army over here. Got another large army over here. Um, now my concerns are... Oh, I'm actually going to unpause the game here quickly. There we go, get stuff moving. Reporting. Uh, Yep, Reporting. we've got lots of troops being built, popping out all over the place. This fleet down here is very weak, so let's start shifting over some reinforcements. A couple of extra Which Corellian Corvettes will help. Uh, you've got some stuff for me, you can head down here. Let's get this fleet complete. This ground force is combining here. Construction complete. Get a few more reinforcements there. Complete. Now we've got a weak spot Enter here. Command. From Centauri's, they can actually talk either Comulex or Rindar, or they could possibly even push on Garros Fall, even though it would be quite slow for them. So we do need to push on this quite quickly. Um, this fleet is pretty weak, this fleet is also quite weak for an assault like that. Only three Victory Class Star Destroyers, so I'm a bit nervous about what we do next. But I think we want to keep the... we've got to keep them on Calamari, we've got to keep the New Republic on the back foot. So I'm actually going to launch an assault on Mon Calamari right now. This is one of the New Republic's biggest shipbuilding places. It can get some very good modifiers. So, let's see what they've actually got defending this. Not very much. Interesting. Looks like they've got a frigate station there. We will begin the attack. Let's see what's actually here. So Mon Calamari is obviously the homeworld of Admiral Akbar. So this is where in the lore, a lot of the New Republic and the Rebel Alliance's main capital ships come from. Uh, obviously in the game you can build them pretty much anywhere, so it's not as crucial as it would be in the actual in-game lore, but still, this is a pretty big blow. Like I said, it does get some good modifiers. Really? They've got almost no defences here that I can see. At your command. Start pushing you in. Armed and ready. I think I saw some fighters and that was about it. Is there really nothing else here? Come on, where's my sensor data? Come Enemy on. Forces ahead. Oh, oh, hello, what's this? They do have a Golan Free superstructure. This is a massive s defensive space station. Um, in fact, you could actually call it a battle station. Um, and it is going to be very good at shooting all my shit. So, we need to deal with that. However, this is one part of the game that uh, I like, both like and dislike. We have all the sensor data for the entire map now. We can basically jump in wherever we're not too close to an existing structure with Choose my reinforcements. reinforcements. So. Although that Golan structure has been built to defend this space station, I can actually just jump my fleet in behind, out of the range of fire of that Golan platform, and destroy the space station straight away. That will allow, allow me to stop them summoning in all these reinforcements quite handily. Uh, why are these Imperial reinforcements? <gasps> Wait, is this an... Im this isn't a New Republic world, this is an Imperial Remnant world. What? The Imperial Remnant have taken over Mon Calamari? Interesting, I didn't even notice that. I'm looking up TIE Bombers and TIE Fighters and I'm still thinking it's the New Republic. Interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, I want to show off this ba big battleship. It's pretty goddamn cool. Um, I'm actually going to drop you all the way back here Order confirmed. with some position. reinforcements Moving so you out. can survive all the fighters that are going to spawn. Because this thing doesn't carry any fighters. It's just... It's basically a big gun wagon. All these massive, massive gun batteries on this thing. You really gotta appreciate just how big this thing is. Okay. Let's bring you about. I want all firepower on that. You guys, just do your thing over there. What's happening over here? You are wrecking face. All those TIE fighters. <laughs> TIE fighters cannot stand up against Karelian Corvettes. It is just popping them left, right, and center. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing? You are very slowly turning around. There we go, the guns are starting to fire now. Let's bring you in a bit closer, come on. Okay, you, you are big and slow, I shouldn't expect too much from you. Um, they are going to spawn some fighters, and they are going to get immediately wrecked if they head in my direction. Okay, you can probably... Actually, head over this way. You destroyed most of their fighter squadrons already, so that's pretty impressive. Yes, 
Commander. Okay, this thing is big and slow, but uh, when you've got this amount of firepower, quite honestly, you can be as slow as you like. And we are still out of range of that golem platform. So it's actually not doing anything to help defend this. Which is rather good, because we're going to cut off their reinforcements. They're only spawning in fighter reinforcements, but hey, let's not have to worry about that at all. You are easily getting around that platform as well. So we've got four Corellian Corvettes to guard Standing our by. battlecruiser. And the space station is down. Okay, we are going to want a few... Oh, they're going to retreat! Oh, wow! Oh, it's not the Imperial Remnant, it's Greater Malrude. Okay, Greater Malrude, whatever, I don't care. I've killed you, you're defeated. Moving into position. Know your place, suckers. They are going to retreat, interesting, and that automatically destroys their golden free platform, and I didn't even have to engage it. Holy crap. Okay, return to galactic map. We have seized Enter the command. orbital of Mon Calamari. Very interesting. Enter okay, command. we are going to need to actually do an invasion of that, so what ground troops have we got available? That's a pretty good force of ground troops there. Um, Ready to go. Tangine, were you not building complete. me... Ah, oh, yeah, I want some of these. I want some gunships. Flying vehicles can be very powerful, so let's get some of those going. Uh, have you got any gunships? Complete. No. Oh, there actually, oh, yeah, there actually is a unit of gunships there. I just couldn't see them. Okay, uh, bring those over here. Arrival imminent. Um, we are obviously blockading Levian 2, so we need to do an invasion of that pretty soon. Put right some away. reinforcements down to you. Got two more there. Uh, I'm going to send you guys over there. We actually need to get some major con combat ships being built. So, can I afford... Ooh, I can afford a couple of Imperial Class 2 Star Destroyers. That would be quite nice. Uh, maybe a couple of Gladiators gladiators unit. as well. We're getting a... Uh, I've moved this character over. So, we're actually getting a... <gasps> oh, shit. Okay, what I was going to say was, we are actually getting a... price reduction because of that hut character on this planet. So, all this stuff is a lot cheaper. Uh, in fact, Imperial Class 2 Star Destroyers are about 11,000 or something, I think. So, that's... That's a big reduction in prices on our main, main shipbuilding world. But it looks like the New Republic isn't just going to sit around quietly. They are launching a major attack over Levian 2. What are they bringing in? Five Imperial Class Star Destroyers. Twelve Hapen Battle Dragons. Holy crap, they've they've got a lot of ships here. Uh, okay, now this is a defensive battle, so I don't actually get to... I don't actually get to say what my forces are going to be. I'm just, I'm just gonna have to see what we start with. Uh, this could be bad. This is actually a lot of ships. Now we do have a super star destroyer, but hmm, we'll have to see how many we can take out. I definitely think we can try and fight this. Enemy. Okay, something's already engaging. Oh god, super star destroyer is opening up and taking out stuff. Whoa, you are okay. Choose your reinforcements. I need oh, everyone to cover that Order super star destroyer, yes, and we've got to watch out for their fighters. And you can run away, because... No, no, actually, no, not you. Stay there. Stay there. Don't, I don't want you to move. I want you to just pour fire onto everything that comes in. Okay, we've got to pause. i got to get organized. Oh, Holy crap. Okay, all fighters. All fighters just move in and start attacking. Hmm. Okay, this isn't too bad. They've got an Imperial Star Destroyer MC-80B, which is basically a modified MC-80 from Return of the Jedi. Um, it's smaller, sturdier, and a bit more powerful, but not too bad. These Hapen Battle Dragons can be pretty bad, especially against a single target like one Super Star Destroyer. Okay, I need you to actually turn around yeah, and on, get in the fight. We might lose a character here. I need all on, these... Go. Oh god, we've got ten Corillian Corvettes. That is that is a lot of Corillian Corvettes. I don't need that many Corvettes, for the love of god. Reporting okay, in. I need you to move down here as quickly as you can. I need you to turn around and get in the damn fight. And yeah, all fighters, let's try and group up over here. Uh, that transport, what are you? Lambda class shuttle, you're transporting something. That's got to be ground troops, I don't know why that's here. Okay, this is going to be a dangerous fight. We are already engaged. I'm not even sure we can retreat at this point, so let's see what we can do. Imperial Super Star Destroyer is putting down a lot of fire. I would like you to turn around ever so slightly. I want both sides... Both broadsides firing. You are wrecking a couple of ships already. You are turning around the wrong way, which is great. Okay, all fighters. Hunt and destroy. Okay, you are doing good work. I need you to turn around a little bit this way. These big ships are very difficult to control. 
Okay, they are taking significant damage. You are facing the wrong way still. Turn around and face that way. This is not complicated, my friend. Okay, both you Star Destroyers, focus your firepower on that MC-18. I want that thing down. They are losing support ships left, right and center. Focus firepower from the Super Star Destroyer on that. How are our shields looking? Shields are looking not bad. Uh, where are my bombers? All fighters, focus on their shield generator. I want that ship down. Why are you all facing the wrong way? Come on, guys. Get with the fucking program. Get over there. You, you are doing good work, and they are losing a lot of health. Move around there for me. Thank you. Okay, that Star Destroyer has had a bad day. We've also got so many Corellian Corvettes. We're actually putting out a lot of fire here. Why are you turning around that way? Don't turn around that way. Move down this way. Okay, MC-80 Liberty is not going to have a good time there. Focus firepower on that. Move around here for me. Bring you in a bit. Oh, they've overpowered their shields, which means reduced firepower, which is good for me. I cannot seem to move this Super Star Destroyer at all. It's kind of turned around a bit, which means we are presenting a full broadside, which isn't bad. Okay, more MC-80s coming in. Where are, the, where are you going? Okay, focus firepower on that. You are going to get in a lot of trouble because you cannot handle an MC-80B on your own. Even with some fire support coming in. There we go, focus firepower. Get my... Bombers and fighters, let's take this target down. Okay, we're still doing good work over here. We're still getting a broadside off. Some of these ships that come in range are going to suffer a lot. There we go. Through their shields, doing system damage. That's fine. Okay, just come around and sit there. I just want all your guns pointing in the right direction, for the love of God. Okay, Super Star Destroyer, how are you doing? Still on half shields. Not doing bad, and we are wrecking ships left, right, and centre here. Unfortunately, they're spawning reinforcements directly into the guns, uh, which is actually pretty good for us, as long as it doesn't get overpowering. Okay, we've got a lot of fighters down there, but that's okay. I'm more worried about fighters ganging up on our Super Star Destroyer, but we've got so many Corellian Corvettes here that they are doing a lot of good work. Let's spread them out a bit so we've got some more defences here. A few of those fighters are getting through, which I don't appreciate. Oh no, this is looking good. This is looking good. Fighters. Fighters. Attack that for me. There we go. Hape and Battle Dragons. They're pretty good. They're pretty big. They're pretty powerful. They do a lot of damage against single targets, but they're not strong ships. They don't have good shields. Their subsystems aren't very powerful. And as you can see, they have a tendency to just kind of melt. Beautiful. They warped another ship right in there. Focus firepower on him, please. That MC-80 is getting wrecked by our fighters. They are losing ships left, right, and centre. How are your shields? You are about to lose shields, which is... That is going to be bad for us. Oh, someone lost shields. Who lost shields? Ah, one of my characters over here. Okay. Have you still, you still got your shield generator, I think. Oh, no, I can't see it. You might have just lost your shield generator, which is bad. Ooh, and they're bringing ships in right on top of us. Okay, Star you need to start coming around up this way. Ready for duty. As do you. Although getting on the other side of the Super Star Destroyer wouldn't be a bad idea, because that does mean the other side's guns are going to open fire on you. That is kind of helpful. We're about to lose shields, but they are losing ships fast here. I'm not even sure how many we've taken out, but it's it's been a lot. If I could just move you down a bit, get both sides firing, yes. that'd be amazing. All fighters, move down here, please. Need to focus our guns. Oh, look at this. New Republic ships just exploding left, right, and center. Okay, all fighters, hunt and destroy. Oh, no, picked Away off them. The all fighters, hunt and destroy, hunt and destroy. You are free to engage. All targets of opportunity. Holy crap, they brought in another wave of reinforcements, though. How are we doing? They're actually coming. We have a longer range here. We have lost shields, though. We're starting to lose subsystems. I need you to come around. I need you to come around. I need you to come around. We're doing all this with half our firepower, which is actually quite impressive. If I could just get that Super Star Destroyer to turn around. No, you're turning the wrong way. Stop, stop, stop. Don't do that. You're turning the wrong way. You are firing, flying into the face of all those guns, which is pretty impressive. 
Wow, we are also losing our fighters pretty quickly. Sending them forward like that was not a good idea. We are getting more ships launched, but even so, might not be enough here. Move forward, keep moving forward. I've got to take fire off that Super Star Destroyer. We cannot afford to lose our Super Star Destroyer. Not today. Let's get a couple of Corellian Corvettes over this side to cover these ships from fighter attacks, because they are bringing in a lot of fighters now. And we've lost most of ours. Okay, you two, focus down that MC-80 for me. Even with the shield overcharge ability, that will melt pretty quickly. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Change targets, focus on this guy. That's a lot of Imperial firepower going in there. You're having a bad day. Okay, we've got fighters. Oh, wow, they brought in a lot of fighters behind us as well. Where are all my Corellian Corvettes? Okay, all fighters need to be engaging at will. Damn, those fighters are doing good work, even with the amount of Corvettes we've got. I'm going to pull a couple of you back, actually. I need to just need to keep the fighters off that ship. Okay, you guys. Oh, you're going in a bit deep here. You're going in a bit deep. I'd, uh... Well, it's taking fire off the Super Star Destroyer, which is fine. Although, the I'm not in range of the Super Star Destroyer anymore. I need you to turn around. I need you to turn around and face this way. Closing on target. I do have two more Imperial Class Star Destroyers I can bring in. So, if needs be, we can bring in reinforcements. These two aren't hero ships, so that's fine. Hero ship back here is taking damage. You're actually outranged by that, which is bad. You are turning around the wrong way. You are turning around the wrong way. This is not good. Okay, you two are actually still alive, which is kind of impressive. If you can kill any more ships for me, that'd be good. Oh, wow, they brought in another Imperial Class Star Destroyer. Okay. Okay, I need you to face the other direction, please. Oh, boy. Okay, we've got Imperial ships coming in from the other side. Well, I think we now have a target for you, at least. I need you to turn around and focus. Oh, boy, look at that firepower going in. Holy crap. We might have to retreat here, but we're we're doing okay. We are at least costing the New Republic a huge amount of ships here. That, that Moncal ship is about to melt. I can bring in reinforcements. Uh, in fact, I'm going to do it right here. Drop a new Imperial Class Star Destroyer in. They can start opening fire on that. That Moncal ship is down. Focus all firepower on that Star Destroyer, please. Uh, in fact, I want all fighters over here as well, because you are now a priority target for me. Haven't lost a Corellian Corvette yet, which is impressive. And we are doing a lot of good work down here. Okay. Well, they took out one of my Star Destroyers, but hey, I've got more. Have another ship jumping in right on top of you guys. Okay, you are dying, which is good. You've still got... You've lost shields, but that's fine. If I could just get you to turn around. I just want you facing kind of that direction. Uh, we have no more reinforcements to bring in, so this is it. How are we doing? Where are you going? Uh, okay, focus target. Focus firepower on those targets, please. Okay, that Star Destroyer has lost most of its guns. It's not really a threat anymore, and it can't escape because it's got no engines. Oh, I just need you to turn around the other way. Please. Okay, you're slowly turning around. How are we doing down here? You are flying through an asteroid field. Okay, get out of the asteroid field. You are putting some good fire down there. Okay, engage that Haven Battle Dragon. I want that out of my skies. Just kill that thing for me, please. It's only got one thing gone. There we go. You're done. Thank you. Crap. My reinforcements got wrecked there. And neither of you mine? Oh crap, okay. You are still doing okay. You need to turn around. Just turn around, you've got ships behind you. I need you to put firepower onto it. Okay, you are very slowly coming back around into the fight, and your shields are regenerating, which is actually quite nice. Okay, just keep on moving, keep on moving, I just need you to come down here. Don't really care about losing any of the other ships, it's just this one I care about. Okay, all fighters, focus on that guy for me. Uh, 
We are losing Corellian Corvettes. They're going to pull back up here. We need to get them out of danger. I can't lose those because then their fighters are going to swarm me. Lost a Star Destroyer. You're not my Star Destroyer. That was our, one of our characters down. Okay, you are running headfirst into a Super Star Destroyer, hopefully. So, I'm not too concerned about that. You need to turn around and engage that guy. Put all firepower onto that guy. I could use more fighters, quite honestly, but it's okay. Ooh, they already destroyed that. Okay. Well, in that case, priority target over here. Take out his shield generator. You are trying to turn around to engage him, but it's not looking good. However, they haven't brought any more ships in. They might actually have run out of ships at this point. Which would be rather amazing. Okay, you are very slowly heading back into the fight. And the Corvettes are now with you. We lost four of them. That's fine. Can I actually give you a guard command? Yeah, guard. Yeah. All Corellian Corvettes to guard this ship. That's all I care about. We do have a lot of fighters down here. We're prim primarily trying to focus down this guy. Just take out his shield generator. That'll make him a much easier kill. And they've all already chewed through his shields, which is pretty good. Looks like our last Star Destroyer is about to go down. Although it has wrecked that one pretty badly. You've just lost your shield generator, perfect. And you've lost your engines as well, so you cannot escape. Okay, yeah, focus on their heavy turbo lasers. And Super Star Destroyer is now engaging the remnants of their fleet. We've actually won this. We have definitely, absolutely, 100% won this. We're probably going to lose all of our Star Destroyers that were here. But they have lost so much more. Wow. That was a huge fight. Uh, yeah, there goes our last Super Star Destroyer. They are trying to retreat. You haven't got any engine. You haven't got any engines. You don't have any engines. I mean, I don't see what they've got left to retreat with. Why are you turning around again? Come down here and kill everything for me. Oh, okay. A couple of the Hapen ships did get away. You know what? That's fine. We want to leave survivors so they can tell the tale of how badly they fucked up there. We lost two characters who were in Imperial Class Star Destroyers. We lost four Corellian Corvettes, three Imperial Two Star Destroyers, and a Victory Class Star Destroyer. However, we killed so much of their fleet. Eleven Battle Dragons, five Cara Cruisers, five Imperial Two Star Destroyers, seven MC-80s, four mc Oh my god, that's so many ships we destroyed there. And, of course, Zinj is still alive. Um, overall... That was that was pretty complete. damn good. We need to get some reinforcements to that fleet, though. So I think the Star Destroyers that are being built up here, we're going to need to move over there. And we need more Star Destroyers, basically, is what that fight told me. Who are you? An Admiral? Interesting. Um, get some more Victory Classes coming out there. Where do I have level 3 space stations? Or rather, where can I have level 3 space stations? Ah, Daphomir, here. Good. Um, you... I don't have any money. That's problematic. Well, get some, re get some replacements being built there. You also have a price reduction. Why do you have a price reduction? Uh, I don't know. But you do, and that's fine. Okay, I'm going to take a break right there. That was pretty goddamn successful. That was a huge fight, but we definitely taught the New Republic a lesson. I think we need to try and push our advantage now, maybe. Certainly we need to do the ground invasion of Levian 2 with this army. And, uh, yeah, see what trouble we can cause. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Do feel free to leave a, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you did. And hopefully I'm going to see you later for the next one. Bye.